I got a new pin and I'm really excited about it so I'm gonna dedicate a whole video to pins. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing okay out there. I myself have actually been struggling a little bit which I feel is kind of strange because this is my ideal lifestyle. Inside all day with endless hobbies and things around me to do, uh, no social interaction, it's all I ever want. <laughs> but it's actually been really hard. I've been feeling really down, really upset, and I think it's just the uncertainty, really. Um, you know, anyone could be affected at any time. You can't go see the people you love, even though I just said I hate social interaction. I still want to be with the people I love, you know? <laughs> Adam is in New York City, the epicenter of this crisis right now, and I'm worried about him. I just feel like, I just feel overwhelmed. And I don't know, I'm very lucky. I own a house right near my mom. We can see each other all the time. That would be hard if we had to be separated. Everyone that I know personally has their health and just trying to stay positive, but it's a scary time and uh, I hope you guys are all doing okay out there. I know I've been on YouTube even more than usual because you guys all keep me company in YouTube world. <laughs> so that's another reason I wanted to just jump on here and make a video, provide some fun distractions. So hopefully I can um, do that for one of you out there. Even though I'm really not a huge Disney pin collector and I'm making a whole video about pins, I collect pins with characters or movies I love and that's it. I don't, um, I don't have a huge collection. I watch some Disney YouTubers out there with thousands of pins in their collection. You won't find that here. I have a very small collection, but it's very personal to me. I like to keep it small because it allows me to appreciate each individual pin as something like, oh, I got this when this movie came out and I, I loved it and I bought this in the New York City Disney store and I have that memory of it or I have a Lizzie McGuire pin that I was so excited to find way back in like 2001 or something that might be the oldest pin I have because Lizzie means so much to me so my pins are few but special I tend to get overwhelmed when I have too many things which is what's been happening with my books the last video I posted was a book declutter when I have too many things I just start seeing them as a an overwhelming cluster rather than something individual that I enjoy that brings me joy <laughs> and I very much used to be a collector of just all the things all the books everything I could find and discovered that that doesn't work for me. Uh, quality over quantity over here. <laughs> anyway, so I will start with my new pin. Disney, what are you doing? Do you see the size of this box? Guess what's in here? I ordered this from Shop Disney the other day. I had no intention of buying anything. I was on Shop Disney because another Disney YouTuber I watched mentioned something, I think it was a new pair of ears, something new, and I was curious to see what it looked like. So I went over there to look at whatever it was, I can't even remember now, and I got this little pop-up of check out our new ink and paint collection. Ink and paint collection. Was there ever anything more perfect for me in this world? <laughs> I loved everything, but this pin is all I purchased. It features the Mary Poppins penguins in various stages of the animation process. So you can see like the pencil sketch, the ink, and then the paint, and then there's a little pin on pin, I believe is the correct term, of the finished penguin. It's even on animation paper with the little holes at the bottom to stick it to your animation desk. Amazing! So I'm gonna get a little closer to the camera and then we'll head downstairs to see the rest of my collection. So this pin is going to get a special place in my art studio. It's not gonna go with the rest of my pin collection. And I don't usually keep the backer card on the pin, but I might just do that. <laughs> so you can see all the stages of the penguin being created and then the final penguin on top. When I watch Disney videos and pin videos, um, people like to see the back of the pin, so I guess I will. I will show you that. 
it says ink and paint. All right, now we will um, leave this up in the art studio and head downstairs and I'll show you the rest of my collection. So I actually keep all of my pins on the inside of my coat closet door, along with most of my ears and ear hats and things. I get to see them and enjoy them a little bit every time I need a coat. <laughs> I think we'll start down here. This cluster of pins right here are some of my earliest pins. I think I bought when I was still a teenager. I saw Monsters, Inc. and loved it, so I got Boo. Um, I've always loved Lady and the Tramp, so I bought Lady and Scamp, I believe. I just really felt the stitch pin. He has a plunger on his head and it says, it's one of those days. And I'm not really a huge Stitch fan, but I did work at the Stitch attraction in Magic Kingdom for my college program. So he's special to me for that reason. So I do have a few Stitch things just because of that. These actually came in the Wishes candles. Wishes candles put uh, a Disney pin in each of their candles. They're not real pins. They're just fun, fake Disney pins. Uh, my little happy birthday Dalmatian button. Tinkerbell, I am not a big Tinkerbell fan, but I went through a Tinkerbell phase when I was in high school. So I bought this pin then, um, but I do still really like it. It's um, The heart is all embroidered, so it's pretty cool. And moving up, we have a Beauty and the Beast Broadway musical button. Very new button. <laughs> this is from the half marathon Adam and I just ran in January. This little badge here uh, is from the 25th anniversary of Disney. Mom and I were there that year, apparently. <laughs> A couple of Little Mermaid pins. And then here's another brand new button, our engaged buttons that Adam and I just got during our January trip. Moving up again, gonna get these ears out of the way. I have this very old Epcot button that I've had since I was probably seven or eight. Here is a Hollywood Studios 25th anniversary pin. It says, I was there, and it has the date May 1st, 2014, and Disney's Hollywood Studios. I'll get a little closer with this one so you can see it better. It's pretty cool. It has a, a stained glass, almost, kind of feature on the front, and it was a limited edition 2500, which is pretty cool. I've never really paid much attention to limited editions, but it is really cool to have a limited edition pin, I think. <laughs> and here we have the Cinderella Bration pin. This was the old castle show at Magic Kingdom. I'm glad I have this. I really enjoyed the show, and I feel like I would have forgotten all about it if I didn't have this pin to remember it by. It would help if I focused it first, wouldn't it? Okay, so here's the Cinderella Bration pin. It has the pin-on-pin -pin element of Cinderella and the Prince. Next we have this enchanted opening day pin. I got this from the World of Disney in New York City, which no longer exists and I'm so crushed. I don't understand why that had to disappear. It was such a beautiful store. This gold detail around the edge. And it says opening day 2007, New York City. And then on the back, it has the NYC World of Disney logo. Beautiful store that is no more. Oh, and this one was a limited edition of 1000. High School Musical 2 and 3 pins. There isn't much to see on the High School Musical 2 pin, but the High School Musical 3 pin is a spinner. East High School and Troy and Gabriella. And this is another opening day, 2008. And on the back, again, this was from the New York City World of Disney. And this is a limited edition of 500. That might be my lowest limited edition size. That's pretty cool. Little Woody pin. He was another one of my first pins. Hannah Montana, the movie. This was also an opening day movie pin, 2009. And this was a limited edition of 1500. And then this very old Minnie Mouse Walt Disney World button I've probably had since my first or second visit when I was like three. Okay, moving up to the second board now. We have Bambi and Thumper here. I can't watch Bambi because it's too sad, <laughs> but I do love it. This was another New York City World of Disney pin from 2006, and it actually broke. The pin back came off, so I super glued a tack in place of where the pin back was, and it's worked pretty well. And you can see NYC World of Disney here, another limited edition 
1000. It's a really super limited edition, but it's the only one like this. <laughs> this one here I've had forever, but they still offer it in the parks. I still see it um, every time I go. It says it was all started with Walt Disney. I don't know what it is. This type of protective coating, I always hate when they use it because it, it gets really yellowed over time. And I have another Walt pin right above here that has also gotten super yellow because of this particular coating they use. So that's unfortunate, but it's still a great pin. And next to that we have the Enchanted Tiki Room pin. I have actually never gone into the Tiki Room before. I just really loved this pin. Steamboat Willie over here. My mom picked this out a long time ago. We were looking at pins and she liked this one. And I did too, so I bought it. <laughs> I don't know why I have that specific memory of her picking it out, but. Okay, and moving up a little bit. This is the other pin I was talking about that's gotten kind of yellowed because of that plastic coating on top of the photo. We have a Mickey Mouse Club member. I just love this classic pin and I love the Mickey Mouse Club. So wholesome. It says December 5th, 1901, and it's a picture of Walt with a bunch of stuffed Mickey Mouse animals. And then this pin I love so much. I thought it was the coolest thing. It has a film over top of the screen here that allows it to change like this. And this film fell off and it was no longer a very cool pin. And I was so upset, but I just put some double sticky tape underneath and stuck the, the screen back on and it fixed it. So I was very happy about that. <laughs> and then I have one more Walt pin, which I absolutely had to buy. It's the first merchandise, Mickey Mouse merchandise, and it's a drawing tablet. It opens up with a sketch of Mickey, and of course I bought it because it's a drawing tablet. And this is an example of a proper, probably resin coating that doesn't yellow. Okay, now we're gonna move back over, right above Bambi, a uh, Soren pin, back when Soren used to be wonderful. <laughs> I'm really unhappy with the new Soren. I wish they had never changed it. It was so much better before, so I don't ride it anymore. But this reminds me of, of better days. This is another cool pin with the shifting television screen, but this one is for Tower of Terror, which I actually can't ride Tower of Terror. It makes me feel sick. I just love those cool TV pins. I think mom got that one for me. And then we have an Epcot pin. I bought this right after I got my sketch artist job in the Epcot park. I've always loved Epcot, but of course I loved it even more after they hired me to be an artist. And then here we have a very 3D fish tank pin from Finding Nemo, obviously. And I, I loved Finding Nemo. I bought this pin in particular because I just thought it was so cool how 3D it was. And I used to wear it on my jean jacket all the time. Up is another movie I don't watch very often because it's too sad, but I do love it and I love the grape soda pin. And we have an old Philhar Magic pin. This is my favorite show in Disney World. It's so much fun. And I love that it's Donald centered because everything is Mickey centered, it seems. This Olaf pin was purchased at the height of Frozen insanity when you couldn't find any Frozen merchandise anywhere. But I found this Olaf and this Anna, and I was so excited. I had to have something frozen to show my love for it. Love me some Kristoff. I think this is a booster pack pin, a little Anna and Elsa Tsum Tsum pin that my friend Zoe gave me. Okay, and then moving over here, we have a Beauty and the Beast collection. I'll try and shield some of the uh, glare. There's an open window right behind you. So we have a couple of Gaston pins because Gaston is the best character to meet in the parks ever. You will have the best interactions with him. A 15th anniversary Beauty and the Beast pin. All right, well, that's a little better. And this was limited of 2,500. And then right up above that, we have a beautiful bell in a golden frame. And this, just the most frustrating pin to open, but I bought it because I love little hidden compartments and things. Ah, looking out of her turret window. <laughs> That's an old one. I just thought it was so cute. Little hidden compartments are so fun. And then I have a Beauty and the Beast Broadway pin, along with a Tarzan on Broadway pin. That is something 
we are sorely lacking in pin world. Tarzan pins. If there were Tarzan pins, I'd probably have a thousand pin collection. If they made that many. <laughs> but sadly, this is the only Tarzan pin I own, but I'm glad to have it. I miss that Broadway show so much. Next to Tarzan is my cast member pin. This earning my ears is not part of the pin. It was my actual ribbon that went on my actual name tag. Just attached it to the pin once I was fully trained. And there's a little bit of a closer look at the Anna pin and my rock and roller coaster pick pin. Oh, I love that ride so much. Back over and up to the top. I kind of have all my most favorite pins near the top of this board. This right here is one of my newest pins Adam and I got on our January trip. I think it's his favorite ride maybe tied with Splash Mountain, I'm not sure. It's definitely in my top five rides. Simba, kind of an old one. I wonder if he has a date on him. I've had him for as long as I can remember. Okay, this says 2002. So yeah, he's an oldie, but a goodie. Pocahontas, back when Pocahontas pins were hard to find, I bought this one. She is much more heavily featured in pins now, which I'm so thankful for but I like having this original one because there was just so much excitement that I finally found a Pocahontas pin. Here's that Lizzie pin I was talking about. Let's see how old she is. Oh, 2003, so Simba's still the, the older one here. Oh, I was so excited to find a Lizzie pin. Wally and Eve, Wally's my fave. They came together. I mean, I love Eve too, but I bought the set for Wally, of course. <laughs> and then here's another oldie. Maybe I'll check the date on this too. Oh, 2004. Those puppies are so cute. And then over here is a box lunch pin that Adam got for me, I think on our last anniversary. I love that one. Okay, and the final pin, it's a mini version of our half marathon medal. Now, obviously I have a full size medal, but I just couldn't resist this little adorable pin. And this is something I can put on my jacket and wear and kind of show off my half marathon medal without actually wearing my half marathon medal. All right guys, and that about wraps up my pin collection. I don't think I've missed any anywhere around the house. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hope it wasn't too blurry or anything when I was holding pins up. I'm, I'm not too good at, at pin filming yet. <laughs> if you have pin collection videos on YouTube, please let me know. I would love to watch them. I love watching pin videos, even though I have a rather small collection myself. I, I like to see all the pins that are out there. And if you know of any Tarzan pins out there, please point me in the direction. <laughs> Stay safe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!